Hey y'all, Megan here. As we're looking back on 2020, as I'm looking back on 2020, just something that I have learned about myself is that I've always thought that following the Lord in obedience, the result is that the Lord like paves the way and it's super easy and everything is easy after that. And what the Lord has been teaching me is that it's not always easy. Obedience not only is not easy, but the outcome of obedience honors the Lord, but sometimes it's not the outcome I want. That's hard. That's, that's a bummer. It really is. And so I was pretty discouraged one day and I was just praying and honestly, the Lord led me to Isaiah 56. He starts out in Isaiah 56 saying, hey, to the people discouraged, just do what is right. Just keep doing what is right. Just keep going, keep obeying, keep choosing my ways. And so he starts addressing the foreigner and he's saying, hey, to the foreigner who is like devoted their life to me, don't say that you're always gonna be alone. Don't say that, that's not true. I'm with you. And then he addresses the eunuch and the eunuch wants to have children. I think we all understand the basic premise of being a eunuch. Can we understand that that's not a possibility for the eunuch? Cause he's a eunuch. <laughs> How many times am I gonna say eunuch in this? I don't know. But the Lord says, listen, if you hold tightly to me, if you hold tightly to my love, my covenant I made with you, which it's in Isaiah 55, three, and he says, I will give you all of the unfailing love I promised to David. And he's saying to the eunuch, hold tightly to that. Trust that, that I have unfailing love towards you and I will give you something better. And here's the hard part for all of us is believing that God's better is our better. Listen, the Lord tells us he has desires for our life. He has a plan and a purpose for our life. He has desires to give us hope and a future. What he wants us to do is start wanting his future for us, his hope for us, his dreams for us, his desires for us. And that's the hard part is believing that God's better is our better. But listen, the God that is in the middle of all of the hard with you right now, whatever it is, that same God tells us that he will never leave you or forsake you. That same God is working on your behalf every single day for your good, moment by moment. Lord, may your better become my better. This is the trust the Lord is calling us to. You know, I hope that for you today, I pray that for you today and for this upcoming year that you can just lay down the things that you are grasping onto and with open and empty hands, say to the Lord, okay, whatever your better is, Lord, that's what I want. I hope you have a happy new year. It is almost over 2020. 2021 is about to begin. I hope it is a great week. I hope you have a happy new year. Stay safe and I will see you next year. This is Megan, and here's one thing.